Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to use the direct distribution method for allocating support center costs to mission centers. And I have identified some information up here on the screen you can see about a, an organization that has four cost centers. There's a purchasing department, there's an administration department, a soup kitchen, and a counseling center. And these uh, uh, are the direct costs for each of these support centers. And so these are the costs that are directly associated with the functioning of the purchasing center or the purchasing department. Here are the direct costs for the administration. Here are the direct costs for running the soup kitchen and the direct costs for the counseling center. So these are all of the costs that are directly connected to uh, each of those cost centers. And so here we have $855,000. This is the total costs for all of these direct costs, but it's also the total cost for the whole organization, assuming this is all of their cost centers. And then we have some information over here about how many purchase orders uh, each of the different cost centers is responsible for over the year, whatever this time period is, probably a year, and how many FTEs are in each one of these cost centers. And so you can see that uh, there are, there's a, a fair amount of variation here. And what we're going to use is this information here to identify how to allocate these two support centers purchasing and administration, we're going to try and we're going to allocate these costs down into the soup kitchen and to the counseling center. So the question is really how much does it cost for us to operate this soup kitchen and the counseling center? And we want to understand not just their direct costs, these are the direct costs of operating the, each of those cost centers, but we want to identify the full costs so uh, how much does it cost to, for us to operate this soup kitchen given that it, there are a certain amount of direct support as well as the amount of support that it, it gets allocated from the administration functions of the organization as well as the purchasing func um, functions of the organization. Now, in order to do this, there are several different ways, and so we're using this direct distribution method, and the way that the direct distribution method operates is that we will uh, directly distribute purchasing $25,000, some of it down to soup kitchen and some of it to counseling, and then we will directly distribute uh, administrations 280000 to both the soup kitchen and to the counseling uh, cost centers. Obviously, uh, administration receives some support from purchasing, and purchasing receives support from administration. However, using the direct distribution method, we don't take into account any kind of support between support centers. We just take each of the support centers and direct them direct their costs or allocate their costs down to the, to the different um, mission centers. So here's our two mission centers. So in the end, what we want to have is a total amount of cost for the soup kitchen and the counseling center that still totals this $855,000, but we uh, will have zero costs associated with the purchasing and the administration. Um, because uh, all of it will be allocated down. Now, in this situation, we have some fairly obvious cost uh, uh, drivers for the purchasing uh, uh, department. So we will allocate purchasing uh, the $25,000 from purchasing based on the count of purchase orders, and we'll, um, we allocate the administration based on the number of FTEs now, those not, may not be the ideal uh, um, type of allocation basis to use or um, cost drivers to use to, to in order to identify our allocation, 
but they are what we have, and so it's what we're going to use. So given that we are interested in purchasing allocation down to these two different mission centers, and as well as administration's um, uh, allocation down to the mission centers, we're just going to focus on the amount of activity that is associated with the purchase orders in the soup kitchen and in the counseling. We're going to ignore all 950 of these purchase orders in, in administration using the direct uh, distribution method. So I'm just going to bring down this 10 and I'll bring down this 40. Now I'm just I'm doing these uh, calculations using extra steps. You won't need to do all of this, but it's helpful to see what I'm doing. And then with personnel, the only FTE that I'm going to care about are the, is the 92 FTE in the soup kitchen and the six in the counseling center. And so because that's my new those are the only uh, purchase orders and FTEs that matter for the direct distribution method. Uh, my, my totals are going to be only associated with those two cost centers. So that means I, what, what I next need to do is just calculate the percent. What percent of the purchase orders in the mission centers come from the soup kitchen and what percent of the FTEs in amongst the mission centers come from the soup kitchen. And so this is pretty simply just the 10 divided by the 50, the 10 purchase orders that the soup kitchen will make divided by the 50 total purchase orders. And I will lock in the reference to this row here so that I can then just pull down to get me my percent of the counseling center. So the counseling center is just taking this 40 divided by 50 to give me the 80% of the mission center purchase orders are made by the counseling center. Now obviously if I sum these then I get the 100%. Then I'll do the same thing over here. I can just click and drag this over actually and we'll see this calculation here is the 92 of the 98 uh, FTE that are in the soup kitchen. So that's 94% of the mission center FTEs are in the soup kitchen. And then here the 6% of the FTEs are in the counseling center. The 6% of the FTEs from the mission centers are in the counseling center. And again, the, the, these all total to 100%. So now what I need to do is take these percentages and use them to allocate out the costs from the uh, purchasing center down to the soup kitchen and the counseling center, as well as from the admin down to the uh, kitchen, soup kitchen and the counseling center. And so here we have this full cost column that I added in over here, and I'm going to use that to total across to see what the full costs are. So this is the way uh, I like to set it up. And that's just to say that I'm going to take the negative value. I'm going to subtract all $25,000 out of the purchasing center. So if I sum this across, I'll see zero, right? I've taken all of that money and pulled it out of the purchasing center. And where do I need to put it? Well, I don't put any into administration because in the direct, uh, in the direct distribution method, we don't uh, send any to the other support centers. 
So at all $25,000 has to go to the soup kitchen and into the counseling center. And so I can just take the $25,000 and multiply it by the 20% of the activity, of the purchase order activity that um, is allocated to the soup kitchen. And so 5,000 of this 25 will be sent to the soup kitchen. And then I can also send of this 25, thousand dollars 80 percent of it into the counseling center so if i sum on this column i also expect to get to zero and by doing these sums it's going to help me make sure that i've allocated everything out correctly so now i've pulled all the twenty five thousand dollars out of the purchasing cost center and i've sent some of it to the soup kitchen and some of it to the counseling center. And so if I just pull down here, remember these are calculating across the rows, then I can see that now my soup kitchen, my full cost for the soup kitchen is now up to $505,000, and my full cost for the counseling center is now up to $70,000. Okay, well, I still have to allocate out because I have some money available here in admin and I don't want that because I need to, it's a support center that I want to have allocated all out to the mission centers. So I'm going to subtract again this uh, $280,000. So now I have no, uh, my full cost calculation for these mission center or these support centers here are down to zero and I like that and then I what I want to do is allocate out the two hundred and eighty thousand dollars that I pulled out of ad the administration costs I want to allocate ninety five percent of it to the soup kitchen or sorry ninety four percent of it to the soup kitchen and I want to allocate 4% of it, or 6% of it, sorry, to the counseling center. So now I've allocated out these costs. Let's see, I should be at zero. Yep, the to those, these total out to the uh, $280,000. And so I've allocated the full $280,000 out. So I now have the f new full cost of the soup kitchen and I have the full cost of the counseling center where I've taken all of my uh, um, mission center, uh, all of the direct costs from my support centers and allocated them down to my mission centers. And uh, I still have the same total cost for my organization, still $855,000, but now it's all loaded into the mission centers so that I can say, well, this is what it costs me to run my mission centers, um, including their full costs, both of the direct costs of the mission center, as well as the support that they receive from the support centers. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Uh,